Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tuesday, September 21st. Tomorrow is the first day of fall. All right, let me just get this out of the way right up front. The stock market is going lower. Now I'm going to characterize more in a bigger picture way or a big picture way of what's happening, but just the stock market is going lower. Now it's not something to be overly concerned about, but I will tell you there's going to be a lot of fear, there's going to be a lot of concern, especially because the Fed is going to announce taper, they're going to taper, they're going to taper, they're going to take away the punch bowl, they're going to cut back. <sighs> That's happening tomorrow. Okay, we'll get the, you know, the statement by the Fed and everybody's going to freak out and the market is, is going to go down when they hear that and probably the dollar is going to go up and gold is going to go down. You know the story, these are all emotional reflex knee jerk stupid reactions by you know very uh, ill informed or ignorant market participants and their emotional reaction is going to drive prices in the short term so just expect this okay now what's happening here is an adjustment to a slowdown in the fiscal flows i think i mentioned in a prior video Back in March of this year, uh, we had a one-month uh, peak of $984 billion in one month, the month of March, of net government spending. That was a huge transfer to the economy, $984 billion in the month of March. That was a big stimulus month. Then we dropped down. March, then April, it was like $700-something billion. May was again 700 something billion, June was 600 something billion, and basically we've been running around 600 billion. Now, that's a big drop from 984 billion. That's like a 40% reduction in the flows. Okay, so when you look at it that way, you're like, hmm, you know, that's not insignificant. But when you step back a little bit and give a little perspective into the picture, in the pre-pandemic years, you know, like 2017, 2018, 2019, the average monthly flow was 420 billion. Okay, it really popped up enormously in the pandemic because we had several massive stimulus packages that were uh, put through. But the 420 billion average monthly flow in the pre-pandemic years was enough to keep the economy sustained growth around 3%, maybe slightly less. Unemployment was low, it was like 2.5% or something like that. Um, you know, so it, it was fine. So the new normal now of 600 billion per month, although it's 40% down from March, it's still 50% higher than the pre-pandemic years. So, Bottom line, there's still an enormous amount of fiscal support being pumped into the economy. And by the way, this doesn't even include the three and a half trillion uh, infrastructure thing if that thing passes. I'm not even mentioning that now because, you know, it's hypothetical. We don't know if it's going to pass. All right. So what's happening now is we're definitely going to see a slowdown in economic growth. The market now is discounting this, which means that it's going to come down to a new level to reflect slower growth in corporate profits, okay, because these fiscal flows, a big chunk of these fiscal flows flow to corporate profits. And when you have a slowdown in the fiscal flows, you have a slowdown in the growth rate of corporate profits, all right, so the market is going to come down to reflect this. And you know what the market does, it always... Um, you know, it, it always goes past, you know, where the, the fundamentals justify. You know, it did that on the upside, it's going to do that on the downside. Okay, but we, let me just say this, we are not facing a recession, all right, that's not in the cards, not with $600 billion a month. Uh, we may also see, notice, I mean, note this, an uptick in the unemployment rate, okay? We may get some job losses because of this slowdown. You know, when corporate profit growth slows down, what happens? Companies try to cut costs 
because they got to constantly satisfy Wall Street and the analysts. So what's the easiest way for them to cut costs? They're going to lay people off. So that's going to be a scary thing too. All right. So you have the taper, taper, that's coming and that's more of an emotional thing that's, that's really in the big picture that taper is completely irrelevant to anything, but I'm just letting you know, people are going to freak out, they're going to panic, they're going to say they're taking away the punch bowl, they're going to say interest rates are going to go up, you, you might even see, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and, uh, you know, a brief reaction in the bond market where rates spike up a little bit. I mean, all that, you got to go against it. The important thing to understand is that fiscal flows are slowing down. The market is adjusting to this, but fiscal flows are still massive. The market is going to overshoot on the downside, and we'll know that because we're going to see like sentiment readings in like the AAII weekly sentiment is going to get super bearish, okay? Uh, the put call ratio is going to get really, really elevated. We're going to see all that stuff. Believe me, you know, weeks from now or maybe even, I don't know, a, a month or two from now, I'm going to be talking about how overextended it is on the downside. I mean, you're going to hear me talk about that, all right? The important thing is to keep everything in perspective and stay calm and non-emotional. This is going to create, first of all, you got to be short right now if you want to take advantage of this downswing. Second of all, it's going to create an amazing buying opportunity at some level. The market's going to overshoot on the downside. <coughs> Sorry, dry area. It's going to create an amazing buying opportunity at some point later on. Again, not a recession, not something that's, you know, you should be freaking out about, but this is coming. The market is going to go down. And I mean, it's all a reaction. Now, you're not going to hear that. Some people are saying, you know, it's a fiscal slowdown, but they're going to be talking about taper. They're going to be talking about the Fed, like they always do. The Fed this, the Fed that. It has nothing to do with that. So that's the update. Just want to let you know. Uh, I made a podcast. I'll put it up on my uh, podcast site tomorrow. That's it for now. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.